Hello, welcome to another edition of... Just kidding. Oh, man. Here's another edition of Periodical Pickups. Okay, so I picked up a boxed item here, and it was something I did not even pay very much at all for. Like, nothing at all. Nothing at all. It's this you could probably find this really cheap on eBay and you know again it's a really cheap item. But this is something for the PS3. This um I I'm, I'm assuming or I heard this gun was exclusive to the uh PS3 one. And again I wasn't too certain that was true because you know I haven't seen the other versions of this one cuz I know it came out for like the 360 and the Wii and all that. So you know it's kind of like I didn't see too much, didn't hear too much, but the price, like, drew me in. I was like, ooh, you know, so. And this, by the way, does not necessarily require the vision camera for the, or the camera for the PlayStation 3 at all. So, I mean, if all these hints didn't give you the away what this actually is, then here it is. Now, this came out last year, and this is, um, Cabera's Dangerous Hunts 2011. For it's one of those bundled titles. It came with the gun and it came with the game. Because this was sealed, obviously. But alright. So I went to the store today and I, I saw this and it was like really cheap. So I was just like, alright, you know, because the Clarence, uh, I, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of like a, uh, you know, I zero straight for Clarence all the time. So the, if I see something that cheap at a Clarence, I, I was all over it. I mean, I saw other things on there, too, that were really cheap with the Clarence thing. I kind of ignored those. And I went over to this one. I was like, yes, you're coming with me. Kind of thing. But, all right. So, this is going to be generally an unboxing. I already took off the sleeve of that, which, again, I'll show it to you really briefly. Let you see the experience of this. All right. Shows a uh, bear or a grizzly bear. You know, a guy having a panic attack, reaching for his... Uh, is revolver which honestly if I was going into a trail knowing there was bears or wolves I would bring something bigger than just that you know in a toy gun but you know all right <laughs> it pretty much comes with this uh, top shot elite is what they call the gun now the ma other major reason too why I purchased this because one it came with a game and two it came with this gun which I'm guessing it might be on a hopeful whim that this might work with um, rail shooters for the PS3. Like one of them was, um, what the heck was it? Time Crisis. Was it Time Crisis? Time Crisis, I think it was. And it was, you know, one of those games is like five bucks now because I think that no one wanted to use the controller. So I'm assuming this might work with that. I'm not 100% certain. I'll try it out and let you know. I don't have the game, that game, but all right. So this game is relatively new. It came out in October 2010. So, alright. Gonna get right into the meat and bones. And I... What it includes is the manuals, which are just... Don't set this on fire, don't punch your baby in the face kind of thing. Which, you know, I wouldn't see why you would punch a baby in the face while activating this device. It's not recommended to do that either, because that's kind of screwed up and you guys are sick for thinking that. And, but, nah, get inside. Um, yep, it comes with the game. Still uh, sealed, obviously, because this is brand new. Now, I, I remember, do remember seeing this game somewhere before, and I heard mixed reviews about it. Some people said the guns for this was terrible, or... Or something like that, but you know, it's probably something I could probably get used to, and you know, kind of look overlook what they were saying. But all right, what it comes with is a sensor bar, which weirdly enough, it has one hour, two hours, three hours. I have no clue what the hell that's about. Um, yeah, it's these all require AA batteries, like two of them, and I read the manual just now and it said you know it came with two double a's so we'll have to investigate see where the heck those are inside this box but yeah it comes with this little hefty um sensor bar which can be used for um various things i suppose if you 
have a girlfriend that's into... Never mind. Um, <clears throat> and yes, 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 yes. It comes with this hilt, which I, I'm not, I'm not a gun master at all. So if I screw up mostly the terms for the guns, just ignore it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it comes with this hilt, which is uh, interlocked. It comes with this, which I'm assuming this might plug into the PlayStation 3, and it detects that you have it hooked up and all that. You once you're done with it, you just insert it in here and put it away or store it or something like that. Comes with this, and sort of this comes with one of these gel things. Which you eat these, you're probably gonna die and or be really sick. And what kind? Most importantly, it came with this bad boy, which comes with like um, analog sticks that look like they came from the the uh, GameCube, and the mixture of the PS3 360 rather. Because I'm looking at this right now, and it's kind of like. Has that ugly, disgusting... No, not this face. I'm talking about that. Pay attention to that, not this. Um, it comes with that disgusting digital analog or you know, directional pad. Annoying, isn't it? I know. But it comes with that. You know, it's not very nice. I don't... I'm never a I was never a big fan of the D-pad on the 360 anyway, so don't worry. I'm not going to defend it. Or the S-pad model on the game, the original Xbox slash Dreamcast 2. But, yeah, looks like a shotgun. Looks kind of, it, not too much weight to it, which isn't too bad. Kind of like the fact that it's a little light. It comes with the, the uh, PlayStation uh, home button here, select, start, I'm sorry, did I say that wrong? Yeah, I did. Uh, start, select, this which you use to uh, release the hilt. See, I'm just looking at this already and I already know what most of these do. Um, it comes with the X and the select bu the uh, circle button, which you use to navigate to the menus, I'm assuming. Uh, shotgun, which is obviously to reload. I'm, su I'm supposing or assuming that you just go and go like that and go back on the screen. But yeah, it has a screw, has, um, not screws, yeah, screws on the bottom of this, which you use to unscrew and then put your batteries in there. Which conveniently, which I don't never see this too often, which is kind of nice. They actually uh, show you precisely where to put the um, batteries into, or how you're supposed to put them in there, so that way you don't screw it up. And comes with a nice strap. I mean, this is off the. It's kind of a generic uh, Wii strap, but you know, it's good to have a strap on for your controller. I had to correct myself there because you. Know, but, yeah, I mean, it's cheap and flimsy, but whatever. I mean, it's made out of... So, you pretty much just slip this on so that way you don't drop it like a klutz. And... So, that way you got, you know, secure... See, it just... So, that way, if, you know, you're dropping it, pick up the phone, hello, baby, I can't talk to you right now, I'm playing with myself, you know, it's good. Even though if you have a girlfriend and you're saying that out loud, you're a pretty much an idiot, but mm, whatever. Um, Alright, it also comes with the uh, scope, which... Alright, this end. It goes in like this. That's what she said last night. I gotta stop with the sexual puns. I, I don't know what's going on with me and guns with uh, sexual puns. Like, that has to stop. Um, Alright. As you can see, it allows you to access the uh, X button, the